crazy. Well, morning. Morning. Well, good morning and happy Halloween. I'm, I'm, good, good morning, happy All Hallows Eve. I'm Samuel Terrell, and, and I'm, I am broadcasting live now. We will start morning prayer in a couple of minutes. Good morning, Amanda. Thanks, Amanda. Happy Halloween. Good morning, Ms. Morrison. Oh, happy All, All Hallows Eve, Amanda. So, so Amanda, are are your kids gonna go trick or treating this year or not? Yeah. It's eight o'clock. Let us begin on page 78 in your Book of Common Prayer. So I'll, I will be using this prayer book. Let's start morning prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> Grace to you and peace from God, our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. Send out your light and your truth that they may lead me, and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. The Lord is in his holy temple. temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Now turn it to page 79 for the confession of sin against God and our neighbor. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, to set forth his praise, to hear his holy word, and to ask for ourselves and all, for our for ourselves and on behalf of others, those things that are necessary for our life and our salvation. And so that we may prepare ourselves in heart and mind to worship Him, let us kneel in silence, and with penitent and obedient hearts confess our sins, that we may obtain forgive forgiveness by His infinite goodness and mercy. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought word and deed, but what we have done, and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart, we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves, we are truly sorry, and we humbly repent, for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will, and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name, Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips. Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Worship the Lord in, in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Turn to page 82 in your Book of Common Prayer as we say together the Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is the great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Our song appointed for today, 
Psalm 55. Psalm 55 can be found on page 660 in your Book of Common Prayer. Psalm 55 on page 660. We will read. We will read these responsibly the whole verse as usual. Hear my prayer, O God. Do not hide yourself from my petition. Listen to me and answer me. I have no peace because of my cares. I am shaken by the noise of the enemy, and by the pressure of the wicked, for they have cast an evil spell upon me, and are set against against me in fury. My heart quakes within me, and the terrors of death had fallen upon me. Fear and trembling have overcome me, and horror overwhelms me. And I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove, I would fly away and be at rest. I would flee to, to a far off place and make and make my lodging in the wilderness. I would hasten to escape from the stormy wind and the tempest. Swallow them up, O Lord, confound their speech, for I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night the watchmen make the rounds upon our walls, but trouble and misery are in the midst of her. There is corruption in her heart. Her streets are never free. Of oppression and disease, for it had been for it, for had it been an adversary who taunted me, then it could have borne it, or had it been an enemy who vaunted himself against me, then it could have hidden from him. But it was you, a man after my own heart, my companion, my own familiar friend, who took sweet counsel together and walked with the wrong, and walked with the wrong. In the house of God. Let death come upon them suddenly. Let them go down alive into the grave. For wickedness is in their dwellings, in their very midst. But I will call upon God, and the Lord will deliver me. In the evening, in the morning, and at new day. And at new day I will complain and lament, and he will hear my voice. He will bring me safely back from the battle waged against me, for there are many who fight me. God, who is enthroned of old, will cure me and bring them down. They never change. They do not fear God. My companion stretched forth his hand against his comrade. He has broken his covenant. His speech is softer than butter, but war is in his heart. His words are smoother than oil, for there are drawn swords. Cast your, cast your burden upon the Lord, and he will sustain you. He, he will never let the righteous stumble. For you will, for you will bring the, the bloodthirsty and deceitful down to the pit of destruction, O God. They shall not live out half their days, but I will put my trust in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The first, le the first lesson comes from the book of Cyrus, chapter 35, verses 1 through 17. Ecclesiasticus, chapter 35, verses 1 through 17. A reading from the, a reading from, a reading from the, a, re, a reading from the Ecclesiasticus, for the wisdom of Jesus, son of Sirach. The 
the one who keeps the law makes many offerings. One who one who needs the commandments makes offerings of well-being. The one who returns to kindness offers a choice flower, and, and one who gives alms sacrifices sacrifices a thank offering. But to keep from wickedness is pleasing to the Lord, and to forsake unrighteousness is an atonement. Do not appear before the Lord and empty-handed. For the for all, for all that you offer is in fulfillment of the commandment. The offering of the righteous enriches the altar, and its pleasing odor rises before the Most High. The sacrifice of the righteous is, is acceptable, and it will never be forgotten. Be generous when you worship the Lord, and do not stint the first fruits of your of your hands. With every gift you should, with every gift you show a cheerful face, and dedicate and dedicate your th your tithe with gladness. Give to the Most High as He has given to you, and, and, as, and as generously as you can afford. For the Lord is the one who repays, and He will repay you sevenfold. Do not offer Him a bribe, for you will not accept it. And do not rely on dishonest sacrifice. For the Lord is the judge, and with Him there is no partiality. He, he will not show partiality to the poor, but He will not listen to the prayer of, of one who is wronged. He will not. He will not ignore the supplication of the orphan, or the widow, or the wid, or the widow when she, when she pours out her complaint. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now turning to page eighty-eight in your book, in your book of common prayer, as we say together, the Psalm of Creation, which is canonical number twelve. Page 88, Canonical Number 12 of Son of Creation. Glorify the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. In the firmament of His power, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, ye angels and all powers of the Lord. O heavens and all waters above the heavens, sun and moon and stars of the sky, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord every shower of rain and fall of dew, all winds and fire and heat. Winter and summer, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, O chill and cold, drops of dew and flakes of snow, frost and cold. Ice and sleet, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, O nights and days, O shining light and enfolding dark. Storm clouds and thunderbolts, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Let the earth glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, O mountains and hills, and all that grows upon the earth. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, O springs of water, seas, and streams, O whales and all that move in the waters, all birds of the air. Glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, you beasts of the wild, and all your flocks and herds. O men and women everywhere, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Let the people of God glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, O priests and servants of the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, O spirits and souls of the righteous. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. You that are holy and humble of heart, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Let us glorify the Lord. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. In the firmament of His power, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. The second lesson comes from the Revelation to St. John the Divine, chapter 13, verses 11 through 18. Revelation chapter 13, verses 11 through 18.
of reading from the Revelation to John. So they, then I saw another beast that rose out of the earth, and it had two horns like a lamb, like a lamb, and it spoke like a dragon. It exercises all the authority of the first beast on its behalf, and it makes the earth and its inhabitants worship the first beast, whose mortal wound had, had been healed. It performs great signs, even making fire come down from heaven to, to earth in the sight of all, and by the signs that, is, that it is allowed to perform, on, the, to perform on, on behalf of the beast, it deceives the inhabitants of earth, tell them, telling them to make an image. The beast that had been wounded by the sword and yet lived. And it was allowed to give breath to the image of the beast, so that the image of the beast could even speak and cause those who would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. Also, it causes all, both small and great, both, both rich and poor, both free and slave, to be marked on the right hand or the forehead, so that no one can buy or sell who, do, who does not have the mark. That is. Hmm. That is the name of the beast or the number of its name. This calls for wisdom. Let anyone let anyone let anyone with understanding calculate the number of the of the beast, for it is the number of a person. Its number is six hundred and sixty six. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now turning to page ninety four in your book and come in your Book of Common Prayer, as we sing together the Song of the Redeemed, which is Canonical Number 19. Page 94, Canonical Number 19, the Song of the Redeemed. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth. O King of all the ages, who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Gospel reading comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 12, verses 32 through 48. Luke, chapter 12, this is verses 32 through 48. A reading, a reading from the Gospel according to St. Luke. Do not be your friend, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions and give alms. Make purses for yourselves that do not wear out an unfailing treasure in heaven, where no thief will come where no thief comes near and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Be dressed for action and have your lamps lit. Be like those who are waiting for their master to return to return from the wedding banquet, so that they may open, so that they may open the door, for him as soon as he comes and knocks. Blessed are those slaves whom the master finds alert, whom the master finds alert when he comes. Truly I tell you, he will fasten his belt and have them sit down to eat, and he will come and serve them. If he comes during the middle of the night or near dawn, and finds himself, blessed are those slaves. But know this, if the owner of the, if the, owner of the house had known at what hour the thief was coming, he would not have let, let his house be broken into. You also must be ready for the Son of Man is coming in an, for the Son of Man is, is coming is coming at an unexpected hour. Peter said, Lord, you're a Lord, are you telling me this parable for us or for everyone? And the Lord said, Who, de who then is the faithful and prudent manager of whom, whom his master will put in charge of his slaves to give, them their, their, to give them their allowance of food at the proper time? Blessed is that slave whom his master will find at work when he arrives. Truly I tell you, 
she will put the one in charge of all his possessions. But if that slave sa says to himself, My master is delayed in coming, and if he begins to beat the, the other slaves, men and women, and cheat and drink and get drunk, the master of that slave will come on a day when he, when he does not expect him, and at an hour that you does not know, and will cut and will cut him in pieces, and put him with, with the unfaithful. Unfaithful, that slave, that slave who know what his master wanted, but did not prepare himself or do what, or do what was wanted, will receive a severe beating. But one who did not know and what did, and did what deserved a beating will receive a light beating. For from everyone to who, to whom much has been given. Much will be required from, from the one to whom much to, to whom much has been entrusted, even more will be demanded. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now turning to page ninety-six in her book in her book of common prayer, as we reaffirm as we reaffirm our faith, as we reaffirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. as we reaffirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. Page 96, the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. And born of the Virgin Mary, he suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He, is, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Now, if, if you have any prayer requests, please, please add them into your comments and we will pray over those in just a few moments. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Turn you to page 98, as we, as we say, suffrage be. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them, now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our help. And we shall never hope in vain. Turning to page 235 in your book, in your book of in your book of common prayer. Almighty and everlasting God, increase, increase in us the gifts of faith, hope, and charity, that, that we may obtain what you, prom what you promise. Make us love what, what you command, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Turning, pa turning back to page 99 for a call out for Saturdays. Almighty God, who after the creation of the world rested from all your works and sanctified a day of rest for all your creatures, grant that we, putting, all, putting away all earthly anxiety and anxieties, may be duly prepared for the service of your sanctuary, and that a rest here upon earth may be a preparation for the eternal rest promised to your people in heaven, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's turn the page. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, 
you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us your, with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by, advers by adversity. And in, and in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your, faith, of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our, supplica receive our supplications and prayers, which we offer before you, for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you. Through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Heavenly Father, we th we thank we thank you for for the, we thank you for the time and opportunity to ha to ha to have to have us do morning prayer. The when two or three are gathered together in your name, you you're you're on our midst of the, of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord our God. We pray for this. We pray for this forest that it may shiver and die and be cast away from our bo from our bo from our bodies. To so we're 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 so so you know the COVID nineteen is the is the current pestilence right now. We pray. This this week we pray for healing. We pray for healing of John McCauley, George Avils, D. John Tanner, Lisa Farrow, Mary Braswell, Brian Corsdale, Carolyn Howell, Ken Batchelor, Barbara Woodruff, John F. Tanner, Susan Brooks, June Sullivan, Hunter Haney, par and parents Adrian and Jack, and and brother Hudson. So, Father, we pray for the post of the soul of Joan of Joan Drubiano. Um, Father, we pray for the post of the souls of of Joan of Joan Drubiano and Bradley Benjamin. So give them an eternal rest, O God, and a light perpetual shine upon them. Again, we pray. So please, please heal the ones who whom we pray. He, well, let us pray for for the ones who whom we pray for he, for healing of. So be touched and healed and be made feel better as soon as possible. Again, we pray for this virus and it may shiver and die and be cast away from our bodies. For COVID 19 is the current pestilence. Lord, we ask these saints in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now turning to page 101 in your book in your book of common prayer as we say together the general thanksgiving Almighty God Father of all mercies we your unworthy servants give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made we bless you for our creation preservation and all the blessings of this life but above all, for your merciful love, in the, in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies, that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service. 
and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you in Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace to this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this real knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Okay. Thanks Thanks for doing the morning prayer with me. It was so not it was so nice to do so. So we have morning we do these three ser three services every every day. We do morning prayer every morning at eight. Noonning prayer every afternoon at twelve ten except Sundays. I mean we have morning prayer. We have morning prayer every morning and eight except every morning and eight except Sundays. We have noonday prayer uh, every afternoon at twelve ten except except Sundays, and we have Compline every night at eight. We we have our indoor ser services at an eleven o'clock tomorrow morning and at twelve ten on Wednesdays. We have our outdoor services. At we have outdoor services tonight at 5 30 and and tomorrow morning at 8 45. we have our online service at 10 o'clock so remember to set your remember that we're going to be turning our clocks back tonight well happy halloween again We have our truck or treat. We have our truck or treat thing and epiphany tonight. An epiphany today. Thanks. To, thanks again. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. See you.